Today was the most Monday Monday that ever existed in all the Mondays. I had so many spur of the moment meetings, so many issues, so many annoying just new like annoying problems I was trying to solve. Like you couldn't. It's one of those days where like you worked so hard and you think you solved it, but you solving it opened up an annoying another problem. And then you have a meeting from 4.30 to 5, it goes over to 5.15. And then the people are like, do you have more time to continue? And then like, how do you not say no? And then you end up working until 4.45, 4.15. And then you have to eventually just tell your boss like, hey, I have to run this nightly audit update thing at like nine. So I'm gonna go because I'm already three and a half hours away from having to run that. And now my puppy's mad at me because I've been away from her all day and she's got major separation anxiety. Welcome to Mondays with the Burger. But we're about to feast on all the good food. Guess what? Oh gosh. I'm free now, Eve. I can play. I'm here to play with you now, all night. Just me, you. Sarah can come hang out too. I like to do that and I catch her, her bang there, and she gets mad at me. Uh. Heard Sarah? Where's Sarah? Where's Sarah? Yeah. Go get her! Okay, I have to go into our baby's room because I gotta talk smack about Sarah. She's all about Jane the Virgin, and I know we've like put on some of our friends onto that show, but it is, it is really enjoyable to watch. Like I love following the storylines, but it is the most ridiculous show. And I think that's the point. Like it's supposed to be like. What are you talking about in there? She heard me. It's the most ridiculous show in the world. But I think that's the point. I think it's making fun of soap operas, which, from listening to stories from people and family who watch soap operas, they are just as ridiculous, or even more ridiculous. But she's obsessed with it right now. We have to finish watching Schitt's Creek after she's done with this episode, after dinner. How was your, your ridiculous show? So much just happened in the last... Did someone blow up and then come back as their own child? No, it's not that episode? crazy. I'm on season two for anybody who watched. Here's what we got so far. We got salad. We're going to heat up those beans. We're heating up some rice. Don't know if we need to go with bonzo beans, but they're going. And I forgot about the muffins. Leftover dinners. Wow. <laughs> We're gonna eat this bread. It's like kind of hard. <laughs> I think I just broke my jaw eating it. <laughs> um, but we're gonna dunk it in some olive oil, balsamic, little mixture concoction. A voiceover work is every actress dream. Tonight will be a happy and sad night. We're gonna finish this season and series. My favorite of all time. <laughs> And she wants all the food still. Sarah's been in an exceptionally odd mood today. <laughs> um, I told her, she asked if I was gonna have another one of these. And I told her, no, you can, you can have them all. Like we got them for her. And then she goes, no, 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 like you, you should have one. And I was like, no, no, you should have one. And then the conversation continued. There's only two left. And then I don't know how we got on the topic, but we're like, oh, we can sit on the couch and cheers uh, we can. There's two left. So I was like, we each can have one. We can cheers on the couch as we finish watching this series because it's like one of our favorite shows of all time. And she looks at me and goes, "Yeah, but then they're all gonna be gone." Because <laughs> I drink one already today, and so I like to space out my special treats. Is she okay? <laughs> She's, what she's having a hard time with her life right now. She's not sure. She's had a weird day. She slept a long time. I, I was, was very productive in the morning-ish. I wasn't productive, I was motivated. And then I broke a, my water cup, my ceramic water cup. And then everything went down. You know when you break something and it just like, is the worst? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> is that how you cheers? That's the prop, that's the Sarah Brooke way of cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. This is as good as the shot's gonna get right now. We have three more progesterone and oil shots. Can you believe? 
that's so weird. Let me just stop. Yeah. And it's like, is everything okay? They said so. I asked. You heard are, me. Are we like, it's weird to be like, we're three shots away from like, normal pregnancy. Yeah. Because we have never had that. No. In four years of trying and 11 years of talking about it. This episode is called Happy Ending. It is episode 14 of season 6, a.k.a. the series finale. Sarah and I are both not mentally prepared for this, but we're going to do it. Yeah. And then we're going to watch the farewell thing that's on after. Yeah! Well, it's over. We're going to watch like, this special thing, but... I love them so much. It was one of the best TV shows ever made, I think. Like, and just unlike anything else. And the creator is, the like, one of the main people in it's this. It's both. It's the dad and son, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're actually dad and son in real life. And it's just so good. Give it a whirl. It's not for kids, but it's really good. But we're going to watch this 44-minute, like, post-show farewell from the whole crew, I think. The cast and crew. Yay! I'm so used to the internet show you this part. being like a cesspool of awful news that I'm always sort of inspired and impressed by how the fans of the show have really taken the philosophy of the show and really ran with it in their own See, way. there's a lot of weird in the world, but I think out of all these weird times, she has prospered the most. Are you winking at me? She could not be happier that we're here all the time. You winked with the other eye right now. What's your deal? We just finished watching the farewell. Special best wishes, warmest regards. <laughs> the Shit's Creek farewell. And it was, oh, Eve just brought her rope over. There was tears the whole 44 minutes. Yeah. I like already had a headache. And then like, you know that <laughs> headache when it's like you cry and stop and cry and <laughs> It just is so good. It was so good. I like how they talked about how, like, they liked that they didn't get, like, outrageously famous like they did mm -hmm. until, like, a year ago. And they were already done writing season six. And they, like, if you haven't seen it, they did six seasons. They could have gone for far, far, far longer mm -hmm. because of the fan base and the overwhelming support. But, like, the the writers and the producers were just like, this is the story. Like, these are the stories. These are the characters we, like we brought. Like, they didn't want to push it to be something it wasn't like once their stories were told it was they, over it was over and they told their stories <sighs> and so it's a father son daughter who are in it yeah that are actual if you family. know the dad from american pie that's the dad and then catherine catherine o'hara catherine o'hara mom from home alone and they've worked together a lot a ton which i didn't know so they're just a dream team yeah so it was like extra sad watching them all like finish up their their final series shots and, and talk, in their talk about it. They're talking in their normal voices because if you've seen any of the show, there's some characters with strange voices. It's um, such a good show, and like I want show. if I could dress like as full out as I could, like, like I feel like, like Moira? I would not like Moira, but like I feel like I'd fit in in their family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so too. Like you're because, Chicago, Chicago Sarah. Yeah, we're like city Sarah. Like city I feel Sarah. like it's like a good mixture of um, I don't know how to explain it. Like feminine but masculine at the same time. I love the the clothes in the show. Now what do we do? Watch season one, episode one. <laughs> All right, April thirteenth is the name of the game. Another Monday down. It is a rough one. Quote today is by Corey Ten Boon. Worrying is carrying tomorrow's load with today's strength. Carrying two days at once. It is moving into tomorrow ahead of time. Worrying doesn't empty tomorrow of its sorrows. It empties today of its strength. Oh, I needed to hear that. I should have read that this morning. All right. Today was a not super eventful vlog. I get that. But Sarah and I were in our finishing the series vibe enjoying the fit, the ending of those stories and then just relaxing at home. It was another, it was a rough Monday. As Sarah said, her day started off well and then took a turn with breaking that mug. My day, like the last couple of Mondays, has just been like slammed all day. And I've been thinking about like what I have to do tomorrow for work based off of today. So hopefully tomorrow is a better day for work, a better day for just relaxing and enjoying the time. Um, after all. 
tomorrow is another day. It's good to be home. Um, excuse me, you all know Eve comes and sleeps in our room, and we close the door, but she fell asleep against the wall underneath our table. How am I supposed to go get her? Oh, gosh. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.